Born against the wall. And every once in a while you hear him say, Oh. <laughs> oh. Robert Cockinsprit, you're going to be a very wealthy man. What? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, you know. I don't think I know what squash is. Isn't it the game squash? I don't know. Don't Isn't know. it squash? The game squash. What's well, racquetball? Where you hit a ball against a wall, someone hits it back against the wall. Oh, I think that's called squash in the UK. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> racquetball makes a lot more sense because it's so loud. You're causing quite the racket. Well, this is what I'm talking about etymology in the UK. There's probably some reason it's called squash, but it's so convoluted and goes back 7,000 years. What if it's just because you kind of squash the ball when you hit it? That's, that's probably that's probably what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Squash has its origins in the old game of rackets, which was played in London's prisons in the 19th century. Later, around 1830, boys at Harrow School noticed that a punctured ball, which squashed impact with the wall, offered more variety to the game. There you go. I thought, I thought you, uh, I thought for like the first 10 seconds you were improvising, and I was like, this guy's on another fucking plane of existence. Yeah, my it's incredible my improvising my skills. <laughs> My improv has never been that good, ever. Like, he's like, also, it's like so smooth. He's not tripping over his words or anything. It's just a clear, he's possessed by a professional fucking squash player. Possessed by the spirit of Sir Leonard Squash. There you go. That was a true, that was a true sampling of my improbability. I wish, you, I just wish you would have thought of a funner name. I don't like that his last name was Squash. Well then, what? Leonard Rackets. I don't know. There's a lot of old... British names are fun, like Hornberry or something. Leonard Hornberry. This sounds like a guy who probably invented squash. Leonard Hornberry. Leonard mm. Cocking Split. Leonard Cocking Split. Mm. Yeah, like, mm. Hit the ball against the wall. Actually, he went insane when he was older, and that's all he kept saying. I hit the wall. I hit the ball against the wall. And someone was like, hold on a minute. That sounds like it could be a sport. And that's how <laughs> having squash this, was created. Have, he says that. He says, my God, that kind of sounds like a fun sport. Robert, grab that plastic ball from the other room. And he's like, right away. And while they're talking, uh, Robert Cockin splits just on the ground, pulled down his fucking soft pud. He's just like kind of naked. Or he has like one of those gowns that you wear, but he doesn't have like underwear or anything. So he's just like, uh, ball against the wall. Because he's slapping his testicles against his thigh meat. Yeah, he's, he has the base of his fucking of his testicles, and he's hitting it on each of his uh, on each on each on each of his fucking doughy thighs. Born against the wall, born against the wall. And every once in a while, you hear him say, "Oh, oh, oh. Robert Cockinsprit, you're going to be a very wealthy man." What? <laughs> He's, retar he's retarded, by the way. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. And that is how he was given his own regency in the United Kingdom and 7,000 acres of land. We got to put some nice, like, royal theme music by this, like, da, 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 I da, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, you just that's it. That's the whole I, character. <laughs> I was stung. I was oh? stung by a bumblebee. Okay, he's got Robert, a little backstory. Robert, Robert, you were stung by a bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, I want a friend. <laughs> well you can't have I one, Robert. We all know what happened last <laughs> time you had a friend. Wait. Oh my god. And that's what translated in today's bumble <laughs> the app. My God, Robert, you, <laughs> you did it again. First racquetball 400 years ago with no bumble. I just want your friend to hit a ball against the wall. I like that he's I an eldritch 400, 400 year old creature <laughs> just inventing he's one, a, <laughs> inventing two, two inventions a, a millennium. He's a, uh, he's a hybrid mythological turtle that just is kind of existing. 
he, he over over time he becomes more and more tortoise like my god robert you're so slow get them before the hell that's what he says <laughs> he's a giant turtle man i like it fucking i like i, I like it a lot. I, and ironically <laughs> I really, I really un- I re- unironically very much like Robert Cock and Split. Dare I say, <laughs> a new Cream Crew favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I was rolling. Yeah. Robert <laughs> Cock and Split. <laughs> <laughs> Cream Crew, do not miss. This is right up oh there with God. black and blue comedy. This is up there with silly <laughs> games. This is a you real bit that, for the ages. It's gonna be it's gonna be a big meme when people say ball against the wall. People are gonna spam comment and it's gonna be beautiful. That's, you're, that's good. You're ball manifesting this by talking about it so against much. Against the wall. Well that's what you do. You just say it and then they repeat it forever. Just like Hey, that. how many clips was, do we think we can get out of this? How many shorts? I was stung by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel I like you could use that. You could just be like the invention of racquetball and you'd get stock images of Englishmen, you know? Just yeah, we Englishman. could just put, we should, we should just put, uh, we should put fucking brain dead, brain dead man invents rock racquetball. <laughs> Would you guys ever get a tattoo with me that said ball against the wall? Uh, with a little, whereabouts? With, with a silhouette, with a silhouette of a turtle on like our, on our, on our inner thigh. Upper inner thigh. I was gonna. I was wondering if you were gonna take it left field, but yeah, that's about where I'd expect. Well, I just I'm someplace hidden, you know. Don't want. I don't. I don't want to have that wall publicly seen, but I like to have it. Yeah, like you wouldn't want to be overwhelmed by fans who notice the tattoo and are like, "Oh, wait, wait, are you the oh guy? Are you, did you do that? I saw that TikTok. I saw that TikTok. I saw that TikTok." Yeah. Oh my god! I love. I've never really listened to the podcast, but I love Cream Crew clips. And Ball Against the Wall was one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Remember when? The, and I love the part where he gets stung by the bee and he invents Bumble. What the fuck is Bumble? Is that the one where the woman talks to you? I think so. I, I just know it's a dating app kind of thing. I I'm think pretty it's sure app. the whole deal of Bumble is the chick <clears throat> like hits you up. There you go. I like that. What do you want to bet every every fucking message, every opener is hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. I bet a hun- I bet you ten thousand dollars. I would send her copious I'd send her tens of thousands of dollars if she responded to me with hello, H E W W O. H E W W O with a smiley fat hello? face and then some kind of then some kind of cat gif. I'd be like, My queen, my queen. I I don't feel like that's on the table. I don't feel like you're ever going to get a hello. That's. Hmm. Yeah, that's the state we're in. That realization really just sat in and I don't think I like it. Oh, boy. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Don, if you were a girl on Bumble, what would your opener be? It would just be high, wouldn't it? Because that's all you need to do. A hundred percent. Why would I oh. put in more work than I have to? It's true. It's facts. Yeah. You want this pussy? You'd be a lot more direct, probably. You want this slit? <laughs> Come get it. I'm a lock and you're a key. Let's make it happen. Yeah, but I think part of the mating process is the man proving himself to be worthy to be put in the the lock. You know, so if I was if I was, if I was a big titted sexy woman, if I was a big titted sexy woman, I'd say, "How much can you bench?" First question. Mm. I wouldn't even say hi. How much can you deadlift? What? Unfriended. That is that is uh that is the duality of man. You can you can hate the cruel, cold simplicity of their reptile logic, but every feature you like about yourself was thanks to a woman being incredibly picky about something. Mm, true. <laughs> we all just start crying. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh. I don't know. My, I don't think my ancestors are picky enough. I could have been dealt <laughs> <You'll> do. <laughs> more you'll, or less. You'll do. Well, and it's it's Why also you like, like to fuck this pussy. Okay. <laughs> so much, so much of our progress has been taking that choice away from them. You know, like every man gets a every man gets a mate, and yeah, it weakens the species. But you know what? 
I mean, that's, that's by, the, uh, by by them. Are you referring to just like women as a whole? Uh, yeah, no, like uh, fucking. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I think arranged, I am. Arranged, Is that a fucking marriage. problem? <laughs> arranged marriage is in more or like being in a town where there's like three choices. You know what I mean? Was such a long period of uh, our history. So it's not it's not as if like the modern men walking around are what Tom is describing, where you're just like a confluence of all the best choices of women for millennia because we took the choice away from yeah. them for so long. And that's why I'm a uh, gen genetic puddle that shouldn't be alive, I guess. We only took the choice away semi recently, right? Did they really have a choice before that, though? This is skewing very <laughs> red pilled very quickly. <laughs> hey, I'm not advocating. Yeah. I'm just better saying. question. Should they have a choice? <laughs> I'm not. I mean, listen, guys, you're twisting. You're twisting my words. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> no, if anything, I'm if anything, I'm very anti this because look at me. You know, should have been dead at 14 from appendicitis, or 20 after that from a collapsed spine. You know. Oh, yeah, but even when you took away, let's say arranged marriage, right? The parents were still trying to get the best, the best mate mm, in an arranged true. marriage case, you know? But yeah. of the choices, even before the arranged marriage, like obviously women are going to go with the, the best uh, choice depending on their fickle ways, but... You know, that's how you get square jaws and big muscles. If I, if I was a woman on Bumble, I think I would be afraid to do anything but say hi you, you kind of like well, you fantasize why? about saying stuff like come fuck me or whatever hunter said but i, I don't know I'd i don't fantasize about that at all that's you're gonna have to unpack that one Th that's what you just said 10 minutes ago no i did not somebody said that <laughs> that's so oh, to i mean i, I, it was hunter, <laughs> probably. I probably said it's like a joke or something oh, okay. i don't think anybody would i don't think any real I don't think any woman would do that. I think there would be plenty of men who do that, but they're you know, like, I, I don't know. As a joke, I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding, though. I would just kidding. If I, I was a chick, I, I wouldn't really, really. I don't really mean the words I say. I don't really mean the words I say. There's no like, don't take anything I say seriously. Okay, it's a joke. Listen, I'm just saying. God, you're getting so you're so you're getting so bent out of shape over nothing, dude. It's just a fucking joke. I'm joking. Philosophically, you flip your gender <laughs> and you're a woman now, right? You're not yeah, a man. Right. You're a woman. Yeah. But yeah. from your man brain, you're like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to like get the fuck like easy? Because I'm, I'm a chick now. You know, no, I'd be, no, I'd be freaking out or not. Oh, we're not having a cock. I'd be fre freaking out probably with my panties. No, no, like no you've, you've, got, yeah, you've, you've, got, gotten, you've gotten, you've gotten over that. It both ways. You've gotten you've over that. And okay. Well, yeah, sure. But that's, I mean, I guess that's what I'm rounding on is you are a woman now, so you can't be that way, you know, because you're afraid right. of, you're afraid of uh, dying. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be terrified. Well, no, to, it's not even just dying. It's I'd just be like, I'd be, I'd be terrified to make women have to be picky. Women have to be picky with their mates because they can get pregnant, right? Is my is my pussy genetically is it is it genetic or is it surgery made? <laughs> it's it's genetic. You're a woman. Oh well, okay. Well, you said that it was. <laughs> you said that yeah, I, I was a man and then I switched to. Well, I'm confused. Well, that's the confused. that's okay, why so. Don's thing doesn't because like if you're a woman, you have woman brain. You don't have man brain, right? So yeah. it doesn't even make sense. But if you did have man brain, let me try to put my mind in the state. Of a little girl. Okay, well now it's getting strange. No, no, no. It's no, it's getting extremely cool. <laughs> I'm putting my my mind into the. <laughs> uh oh, I'm fantasizing about a boy like in school. <laughs> oh yeah, this would be cool. What's his name? <laughs> Jeremiah. He's a he's a tall religious boy who's strong. Does he wear a, a white white button down with the sleeves rolled up? No, no, he he only wears a varsity jacket. Oh, okay. with a with 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 a "Don't bug me, I'm gaming" t shirt that his mom got him at Walmart. And what is it that is so appealing about this young, strong gamer? I like how the way his Adam's apple is shaped. <laughs> hmm. What do you want to? How old are you, uh, uh, Huntress? I'm twelve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should wait until you grow up a little bit before we start thinking about no, boys. I'm, no, people tell me I'm a lot. I, I act a lot older <laughs> than my actual yeah, age. Was... I'm I'm a, I'm extremely mature for my Who age. Who told you that, Huntress? Uh, Jeremiah. How old is Jeremiah? He's twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> He's a teacher's assistant here at the school. <laughs> <laughs> 
Has Jeremiah ever done anything that's made you he wrote, uncomfortable? He, he, he wrote a uh, he wrote a, he wrote twelve on my chest, and I thought it was because of my age, but now it was he, it's it's the pound of bowling ball because he's gonna he said and he he wiggled three of his fingers at me and he said see you soon. He said that to me. Did he? Uh, did you? What What do you think he meant by that? Probably a tickle fight. I'm just an innocent little girl. I don't know. I'm grossing myself out by, <laughs> by saying I don't know about this one, boys. We might need to go back to old uh, splitting Cockington, whatever the fuck. Dude, let's just about. talk about let's just talk about the cock and split. Robert cock and split. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Bows against the wall. <laughs> Let me let me let me reframe it because yeah, it didn't make any sense. So you're you're genetically, you know, forget we're forgetting we're forgetting Huntress. The world. Okay, so you're you're a man right now, right? And then someone snaps yep. their fingers, and you are, oh. and you're now genetically a female. So down, oh my god, down I'm to a a, yeah, yeah, down to like a chromosomal and physiological level, no surgery or hor like hormones or anything. You're a female now, right? Okay. And, oh. and you've got and you've got Bumble, right? Mm. Oh, okay. And and oh, and you have all of the reductions in bone density and muscle mass and so on, right? Of my male form or my female form? Now that you're in, you're a you're woman, a female. Yeah. So I'm all female. Yeah. Okay. So how how do you okay. conduct yourself on Bumble now? I mean, I think we kind of already discussed this, right? I no, mean, no. Well, you, I think you it. Have to, no, you I think. But I think hi. it was too obvious if you just say like, "Okay, you were a, you were a female from the start." It's like, okay, if well, I obviously was, if, if it was my male form, well, f well, first off, see, and now we're coming back into the thing. I'm, if anything, I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be once again, I'm gonna go back to what I said before. I'd be probably feeling around my pussy area for my pants because it would feel weird. That there's not a cock and testicle there. I'd be like, why'd you do this to me, wizard? And he's just like, hey, 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 all things are revealed in time. And he like throws a smoke pellet on the ground and he leaves. So now I'm like really contemplating what's going on. I open up, but I don't care because I want to, you know, I want to connect with somebody physically. So I go on Bumble. I open it up. And now I'm looking at all the people and now I'm just thinking about all the aggressive ways they can take me. And it scares me. Does it also arouse you? I not Not yet. You still I'm in still this too, I'm still place. too. I'm still too new. I'm still too new. To, still too new to the situation. So if anything, I see a nice boy who I, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, he has a. That's cool. He has a king of the. Sh he has a king of the hill shirt on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's a nice guy. And I probably would just be like, you know what I do? I would probably, I would probably try to relate to them in some way. So I'd probably say, I'd probably just message and say, I tell you what. And try to do an icebreaker that way. That's my. That's what my first message would be. Yeah, it'd be really conflicting to have the uh, memories and knowledge of being a straight man or whatever, but having these feelings you can't control of being attracted to men. That would be a real mind fuck. I feel like I'd still also just be attracted to women. No, you wouldn't, though, because you'd I, be like I, a straight you, woman. No, that's no, the whole no, point no, of no. this exercise. I would, no, 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 no. What I would do is I would be transformed into. A female version of myself, so I'd be a big bull butch, is what I'd be. Like a sassy, I'd look like literally Roseanne season three. I'd be walking around, and I'd probably go to a gay bar, a gay biker bar. I wouldn't be using Bumble. There's no, there's nobody of my kind on Bumble, dude. That's a fair point. I didn't consider is uh, it's definitely worse to be an extremely overweight woman than it is to be <clears throat> an overweight oh, man. Absolutely. So absolutely because we get the we get the fat like oh he's funny though yeah you can kind because, of circumvent you know the mean? system yeah because women are more it's, it doesn't matter that, that I'm I, I throw up when I see him naked he makes me laugh that's all that matters yeah isn't that isn't that kind of cool didn't we luck out with that that's a big that's a big uh, wipe your head kind of situation you know like you just defuse the bomb Ooh. yeah exactly because kind of it could have you know it could have just been hopeless it could have been like you're not some sort of giga chad you're fucked but. You know, <clears throat> God found a way to give us a, a fighting chance. I have found, though, that <laughs> and this is from cop copious amounts of research, tons of years of research, that usually overweight women always find very scrawny men. I feel like very, very scrawny small men are attracted to big women. You notice that? Don? No. No, I don't. 
I don't notice that. Well, you're not you're not scrawny though. You're tall. You're tall, big guy. Oh, I'm you, you mean like, like a little, guy, like a sh- short. I'm talking short like five well. foot yeah, four yeah, guy. Old, right. Yeah, right. like five foot four guy. The the woman is always taller than the guy than the kid. I guess that is the cruel counter joke. Is no matter how disgusting you are as a woman, you can find a mate. That's not so. <laughs> anything, man. I like that. I like that because I know I can overpower the little man. <laughs> and take. I'm gonna his, take what take I want physically. Prize. That's right. It's like watching. Have you have you ever seen a like a female gorilla rape a male gorilla? No, wow. that sounds it's awesome. Horrifying. It's horrifying. But that's how I would approach sex. What do you mean? Rewind. Partner. What the fuck? What are you talking about? I this feel like that is. You ever seen the videos of that thing? How could that be a thing? Oh, it is. I've seen videos of it. It's crazy. This is like Sasquatch, dude. This is not real. It's not real. I got. I got to look it up. <laughs> Cryptid. Cryptid. In a bull- North American bullshit, cryptid. I'll bullshit. look it up real quick. We should cancel the uh, record so I can. I need resources. I do. I, all right. What do I type in? I would assume female. Okay, female. Female. Female on male gorilla rape. Wow. I don't know if that's female. What I would Google, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I've seen. I've seen. Oh, a couple fuck of videos. you, NPR. Why gorillas aren't sexist and orangutans don't rape? Okay. Not what I wanted. Wow. Uh, Maybe I was brainwashed, dude. Female female gorilla uh, forced sex. Uh, oh, that could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> male gorilla. Hmm. Yeah, so Dynamics of man- human animal boundaries and inter-ethic, inter-ethnic. What the fuck is this? Man Sorry, arrested on, for sexually assaulting gorilla in zoo. Oh, and then kenyatalk.com. Zookeeper, <laughs> zookeeper impregnates female gorilla after repeatedly raping. I wonder if that's. Uh, wow. I wonder if that's real. This that's gonna this be is true. actually disgusting. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking too. This is too much. It's like that funny picture of the woman, like that ad where it's like, uh, you know, woman, woman is hugging horse when they X-ray her. Doctors are shocked. Or some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, just yeah. like that. Yeah, it's but it's like funny it's that thing. it's like a Kenyan website. Like, maybe they're actually trying to say it happened. You Create know I mean? some sort of Superman, super race to take over the world. And meanwhile, Easy. it's just like if we the just baby's breed. just like <laughs> we a just breed. What? extra hairy Down syndrome baby. What do you, you mean? Know? You know what I said. There was nothing if you, racial about that. It, if I was, there was I wasn't trying to be racist. No, me either. Yeah, it's just that they're, the, you know, backwards. Hey, if you want pressure. me to try, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> what are you guys even talking about? I'm talking about <laughs> kenyatalk.com, bro. <laughs> trying yeah, to, trying to Kenya, Kenya misinformation their populace about a group gorillas. group of supermen I, by breeding I a, gorillas. I a fever dream. <laughs> I, you, you know what? It, the, the first uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes or whatever movie would be a lot more interesting if it was from... A gorilla that's pregnant with a human's baby, a scientist's baby. It'd give him a lot more fucking motive to take over the goddamn world, wouldn't it? It's basically just Tarzan. No, Tarzan was just like, there's just like some kid left in the forest. This is a guy has been having his way with you and you have human fucking hybrid babies in your stomach. Oh, okay, so in this scenario is uh, is the woman Caesar. She's like Yes. Okay, she's formed the woman gorilla has formed a relationship with a scientist that's been pumping yeah. her thought. Because months, he's he's years. an incel he's an incel scientist, right? Yeah. Who's been trying to give her smart medicine because he's like, I can't no no woman really understands me. Not like you, uh, Coco or the fuck the I like that. gorilla's name is or whatever. Yeah. And then uh yeah, then o- over time they start to realize what's actually happening and super fucked. So then it's like this big justifiable like this guy gets his huge comeuppance, and she sees the injustices of the world. So it feels that feels a lot more cool. Does she like not her, cool? Does but she justifiable? Is is this also? Is there like an abortion theme element in this, or is she like keeping the baby? <laughs> uh, it'd be funny if she doesn't trust humans, so she goes to a gorilla doctor. <laughs> it's, it's an orangutan with a with one a, of those circular yeah. like doctor things yeah, on his head. <laughs> on yeah. his head with a lab coat. And he just <laughs> he just rubs a banana up to her tummy, and he's just like ooh. Ooh. And then there's like basically nothing can be done. And that's just kind of so like basically what happened. So then she gives she gives birth to one of them's dead. She screams out, right? The other one though is blind in one eye. And he and he uh it's like a half 
chimp, half man baby. It's a, it kind of almost looks human because of the, you know what I mean? Like it looks more human than chimp. Mm-hmm. But uh, then in the sequels, the baby grows up and it's able to infiltrate society in ways because he kind of looks like a human, but he follows his every, his mother's command. He looks like he's from Missouri. He looks just like, yeah, he is. He's the head of taking over all of the South. <clears throat> okay, so it's humans versus uh, human chimp, uh, mm. hunter, we'll call him. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Mm. We'll just call the we'll we'll just call the fucking the instead of Coco, we'll just call the other Abe Missy. Well. I, I like that. <laughs> and then the uh, she could probably get killed in, like the third movie, and that's when what did you say, Hunter? Is that what you said? Hunter. St- Hunter. It's a bit too Swedish, isn't it? Well, the scientists. You, 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 you could probably just call. You could probably just call the ape hunter, and it would still be as fucking barbaric and stupid. I just didn't want you to think that this was a reference to you, dude. I just didn't want you to think that your name was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna level with you. I've not seen Planet of the Apes, so I, I'm having a hard time advancing this plot. You didn't like um, the monkeys on horseback, right? Yeah, that's I was, yeah. I saw the I saw one image of an orangutan on a horseback, and I was like, "Nah, yeah. I'm out." Yeah, you with me there? That was fucking lame. Yeah, I never saw I, the movie, I, I, but I, I actually thought that was cool. I think that's that monkeys were riding horses. Yeah, they, they <laughs> yeah they evolved when you the cavalry, like that. dude. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm so surprised. Sometimes I, I you, you, sometimes you tell me things, Don, and I'm like just right there with you, and then you say <laughs> that you saw monkeys riding horseback. You know, it's cool, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> who, who the fuck is this person I'm talking to? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, to be fair, you you did you did do something similar with the whole disturbed sound of madness, whatever, mm-hmm. or sound of silence, whatever. I fucking love that song. Uh, it's awesome. I I know you do. It, you I, know what? It deserves its, you know, its, its all you Grammy need. or whatever. It deserves its praise. Yeah. Did it get definitely. a Grammy? I think so. You're fucking. You're fucking with me. The sound. Who fucking cares? I don't know. I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny if it got a big prestigious award. Sorry. That would be funny. That would be funny to hear the song being played and everyone in the audience has to listen to it as David Drainham walks up on the sta- on stage. Hey, thanks for letting us record that one song that was popular 60 years ago. Thumbs up. The sound of sound. <clears throat> All right. Okay. He was, he was nominated. Maybe he didn't win, but he was nominated. <laughs> robbed. He was robbed. <laughs> he beat, he beat robbed out the, the disturbed sound of silence. Yeah, I am curious who won. Disturbed has won plenty of Grammys already. Yeah, okay. Disturbed won. They've won. Disturbed won a Grammy with their shit songs, but this time. No, no, no. I remember when I was a kid, I was stoked on it. It was the song "Inside the Fire." It was about his uh, girlfriend who killed herself in real life. It's a real thing. Epic. Imagine, dude. Imagine that being your like. That's your kind of obituary. You get immortalized in a disturbed song. How fuck? How Epic. how bad is that? I would suck? love that. I would I would love that. That's the that, that's fine. That's a. It's great not like a, it's on. not like a really sweet like nice kind of I don't know a band you could respect that you're immortalized by. You're immortalized by fucking disturbed. <laughs> Imagine Dragons. Would would you rather have Imagine Dragons or Disturbed? I would rather be fucking immortalized by like by Disturbed. I don't know if I can look at the weird metal things hanging from this man's. Uh, lip Ooh, and be like, Jen, yes, that's what I want to be hand. immortalized by. She's just another lost soul, never to be mine again. When I saw them live, when I in like 2007 or 2008 or something like that, they uh, were getting ready to play that song, and they had just got done winning that Grammy. <laughs> and he like was on stage, and the guy was doing like drums, like dun dun, dun dun, whatever. And then the guitar was going with it, dun dun, whatever. And then David Dream's like. Winner of four Grammys, <laughs> like nominated, or whatever. And they were like, they were like giving themselves <laughs> a, like a prep talk. And he's like, This song is inside the fire. Whatever, and it goes into it. Yeah. And the, the poor fucking spirit of the woman is hovering over the stage as this guy pats himself on the back over his Grammy winning song about you killing yourself. Worth. That's what I'd say. Worth. You, She's in hell burning. Worth. Yeah, you're like, what if, What I wouldn't give to be immortalized <laughs> by 
Imagine dragons. You're in hell instead. burning because you killed yourself. That's an oopsie daisy. And then you you're you have to listen to that song on repeat forever. Yeah, that would be the Worst. ultimate little monkey paw. I wish I, I wish I was dead. So you die and now you have to listen to that forever. And now you can't die anymore. Pretty sure David Dradem laughs at the beginning of that song too. <laughs> <laughs> so he does, he does. <laughs> Ooh, Devon! Actually, I, I, I unironically, I, I listen to the Indestructible album and Ten Thousand Fist album. I still listen to those. Bops, they bop. It's a goddamn bop. Certified bop. Been listening to some Leonard Skinner recently. I've never been a real Leonard head, but ooh, good stuff. That smell. I like that song a lot. Ooh, that smell. Yeah, it's a good. Can't one. you smell that smell? Leonard Skinner rules, man. Really good. You should listen to uh, ZZ Top next. ZZ Top rules too. ZZ. I think I've listened to them before, but not really got into it. What about you, Don? What have you been listening to? Have you been listening to anything new? Cavill Trek still? Devil. Still got Cavill Trek on repeat? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my hoodie today. Good man. Good man. Diehard fan. Uh, no, I s started getting into um, listening to... I forget what it's called. It's a specific genre, but it's like metal without lyrics. And it's just, just kind of like mindless work music, you know? Almost like drum and bass, but with guitars. Is it with, uh, is it like atmospheric? Is it like doom metal? Or is it like, or is it like the fucking really cringe doom soundtrack uh, with it's, gent guitar? Yeah, yeah probably, probably fucking... cringe, cringe doom stuff while I work. I, I I don't really I I I don't like the I don't like the the I don't like the gent kind of guitar shit. Did I like my sugar? That's different. That's my sugar. You know what I mean? Mm. It isn't just ding, da, 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 ding, da. my sugar's like yeah. I, I love my sugar's uh, first album a lot. What the fuck is that? The first track off the first album they did is so fucking good. Uh, my sugar's just sure. classic though. You too. can't like uh, my sugar's one of those bands where you can't listen to a lot of it in one go. It's just too much. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I will say though, when I do listen to Meshuggah, I do like to listen to the whole album though, but I don't listen to their albums a lot. Future Future Breed Machine, that's what the song is. It's very good, super super fucking good. And also, they're like more prog. They have like great prog moments and different time signatures and stuff. I don't know. I I just yeah. I don't. I don't fucking know. There's this new band. Holy shit! Called. Uh, I was streaming the other day and somebody had me look this up. Sleep Token. This new band called Sleep Token. They're really big right now. It is. It was one of the funniest listens I've had in a long time. There's a song called The Summoning that's like almost seven minutes long. They do like six different genres in one song. But the way the guy articulates his uh, or enunciates or. The way he like says his word, what the fuck word am I thinking? Is it an enunciate? Yeah. How he say like how he enunciates his work um, or his words? Oh my god, dude! It's like a, it's like a, you know, like what what is it? Like those art ho singers that are like my breath. You know, they 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 do that with our dale. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. He does that. He sings like that. It feels, sounds really it fucking feels stupid. like a like a medley of two thousands music to me. Oh, it's terrible. Well, people are saying they're like it's uh it's Evanescence for Gen Z kids. <laughs> oh, like, I can I can see it honestly. Oh yeah, definitely. But it's it's a mind fuck. This, it's just so stupid because it's like throwing in like I just I just I hate the aspect of when people. It was the same reason why I fucking hated scene music back in the day. I hated the whole thing of like this has got to be love, and then dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. I fucking hate that shit. And that's what. The, but the the summoning that's like the most popular song, whatever. It's it's such a it's a fucking roller coaster. But some of it, the beginning of it, it sounds like Imagine Dragons and stuff. It's very funny. So if you want to like good a, laugh, music like that is the problem with it is always it feels incredibly melodramatic. I think that's probably why yeah, it appeals well, to the, teenagers it's so because much. The, yeah, the, because it's it's something that speaks to uh, kids who are having like, just like they're like, I don't know, like, you know, when you go through puberty and you're just like, your emotions are super high. So then like all the fucking 
all the lyrics that these people write, it's like exactly what kids are thinking. Like everything's the end of the world. You know, the whole world's out to get you kind of thing. So all of these things that are exactly melodramatic, it just speaks volumes to these kids. Yeah, the, the fucked up thing though is that these are adults writing it. So is that how they feel? Are they still like <laughs> teenage? Do you know what I mean? Like that's the part Probably. about it I think is Probably, fucking right? like gay is that they're like, yeah, like this is awesome. Man, this really is really going to speak to a lot of people, you know? This one's about heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just so like <laughs> moody in the gayest way. Uh, I don't feel like because I'm, you know. I think it, no. there's ways to go be there's ways to be over the top with it, but I think it needs to feel very intentional in that way. Like when I listen to Typo Negative, and it's a <laughs> fucking six foot seven man <laughs> literally making songs for goth whores so he can have sex with them. Well, it that's makes a sense respectable that he's writing the things he's writing. That's a respectable exactly. grind. You can, yeah. But he is not hiding that. He's like, I'm going to make music so I can have sex with goth girls. That's all I want to do. That's fine. I hate the idea where it's like, I'm just trying to save lives. People say this, people <laughs> say that when they make this kind of music. I'm just trying to save some kid's life today. Honestly. That's all I care about. I just care you're saving heard. lives. Yeah. You're heard. By the way, you're heard. I hear you. We're best friends. But if you touch me, I'll sue you. <laughs> Yeah, I just, all that shit's just fucking so gay and cringe. If I had to give a music recommend, though, of something I've been listening to a lot, is I would recommend our viewers listen to Black Braid. Very good. Their album is probably my favorite album last year. What's Black Braid? It's a all Native American oh, black metal band. This. It's fucking... It's intense. It's so good. Super atmospheric. If you like kind of like that black metal... Uh, atmospheric black metal and stuff really good some of the, also just like fucking great song names too the river of time flows through me really good just fucking like really great ambient kind of uh tracks it's just yeah cool shit i'd recommend it sorry man i just can't listen to the music of the people i personally defeated historically speaking sorry you cut out what did you say I said I'm sorry. I just can't. I just can't listen to no, the, I heard you. the music I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard. of a, Yeah, I got you. I, heard, of a, I heard you. <laughs> I'm just trying to you know, spice it up, but we can just keep doing music recommendations. Well, I, if we're gonna keep doing music recommendations, then I would say "Push" by Matchbox Twenty. I'm gonna bring that back again. I'm gonna give this a, a true listen. I want you. I, I ironically want you to, and I don't want you to. You're gonna try to judge it real quick, Tom. I want you to give it a full no. listen. And try to I tell me how that. you feel. What? I wouldn't judge something quickly. <laughs> That's unlike you. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's do weird. That. Yeah. That's I odd. think he needs to give me a little bit more credit, sir. And I heard and I heard Don sing it already. So regardless, it, it's it was baked into our young American mm. minds. Well, they yeah, did, they did fucking a billion three a.m. too. When my Listen. dad used to do when he was a in a bar band, he used to play three a.m. every fucking time, and I had to set up the PA. It's like burned into my brain. I love you, boy. This was for you. Can't stand. I love you, boy. Twenty. You're doing great on that on that mixer, boy. I love you. This one goes out to Don. The sound my son. sounded unbelievable. <laughs> it sounded so good. I was a. I'm not crazy. I'm just still in love with well, I know. I know. Right now, you can tear. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Matchbox Twenty. What a what a what a concept. A different side right. of me. Hey. Different side of me. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's no prisoner of the highway by Ronnie Millsap. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Dude, I feel like you would like bro you should listen to Bob Seeger. <laughs> I feel like you would love Bob Seeger. Bob Seeger's that kind of guy. The kind of guy who's just like, I'm on the road and that's just that's just what my life is. What's which one? What am I listening to? I mean, if if I had to go first off, I would do. Uh, Why does this man I, look like the like Donkey Kong Mario get video game world hey. champion? Hey, oh, he does. Why does yeah, he, he look does. just that, that, like that, that guy? That that, that, <laughs> that cheating dude. Yeah, whatever, he was wearing like an American flag tie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's sick. I, I, you know, old time rock and roll. That's the classic. That was the one. That was the one that was in. Uh, that was in that fucking Tom Cruise movie. I can't think of what it is, but he was in that. He also he also did Turn the Page. Oh, mm -hmm. turn the, the original page Turn the Page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
One of my favorite albums. My my dad had Bob Seger's greatest hits. Back so on the road, turn the piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. You know, it's an even better Metallica song is I Disappear. Hey, hey, hey. Boom, wow. Boom, boom, wow. Boom, boom. Whenever I get divorced and I get married again, um, that's going to be the song that I walk down the aisle to. Boom, wow. Boom, boom, wow. Are you going to send invites out to Metallica? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, if you guys have time, feel free to swing by. Here I go now. Here I go. Something, something. Do you bury me when I'm gone? Do you teach me while I'm here? I don't care. Anybody anyway, says that that chorus slaps. Just as soon as I'm along, then the sand is up here. Bow, 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 bow. This is bottom bottom ten cream for episodes. <laughs> then I will. What are you doing? Hey, 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 I would. Uh, you know what? If it was my if it was my podcast and you guys weren't here to do quality and control, I feel like this is how a lot of my podcasts <laughs> would devolve. It's just me being like, oh, dude, you always a fucking other great part of my Metallica song is. Uh, <laughs> Shape shaft, nose to the wind. Ah. Back to the meeting, back to the meeting of Praise it. Dude, we should write a fucking song about turning into a werewolf. I yeah, I love that that was just uh biggest band of all time. Fuck it. And they're like, hell yeah, we should. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, I don't give a fuck, dude. This is fucking sweet. I love the Wolfman movie. Is that what it was based off of? Yeah, probably. After the new days missed, I run. That song is so good, dude. That whole album is a banger. Oh, absolutely. Hey, but, you know, you could say that about any Metallica album. Am I right, Tom? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about all yes, that. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not a single bad song on the no, whole discography. sir. You know what? Just one of those bands where you just... Just put on an album. Just fucking let it ride, baby. Let it ride. Well, sure. Which album do you hate the most? Um, I think my least favorite of their albums is probably Reload. Really? I'm so surprised. Yeah. But one of my favorite albums of theirs is Load. I love Load. Oh, damn. Did uh, the 72 seasons come out, huh? Yeah, you did. Dude, it's good. It's real good. I don't believe you. Shadows Follow, great song. Too Far Gone, good song. I actually, I, I feel like I the only song I don't like on the album is Screaming Suicide. It's just like as if it's like a thirteen year old girl wrote the lyrics. You got to get that. I kill myself. The song, <laughs> kill, dude. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. The song. Actually, that would be way cooler than what's the actual song. Well, that's how you get those sleep token fans, dude. It's uh. So it's that's Saint what I'm saying. That, that 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 that's the fucking. That's the. Those are the fans that keep on giving, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I need to fucking refigure out my demographic of people. We that that those are the people that are going to be spending money on merch. Going to be, you know, th those are the lifelong fans. Are you scared of your audience aging? No. I don't know. I mean, I, it, 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 I mean, I just you just can't control it. I mean, it sucks. You could be scared. Well, I of guess you could say. Control, I, I, I guess you're. I guess you're. You. Could, I mean, like, yeah. I guess I'm afraid as much as anything. You know, with career stuff. Well, but you're not like. Uh, Hell yeah, me and my fifty year old bros. We're gonna be like laughing at whatever till the day we die. Fucking, let's go. Or are you gonna? Mm. Are you gonna try and like like get in those thirteen year old boys and girls forever? You know. No, no. I I, I always like people always think it's a bad. I, I like the idea of just like. You stick with your guns and then your 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 fans grow with you to where I like the idea of being like, Dad, this is old. You know what I mean? You don't even know what the fuck's good, you little bitch. Kind of thing. Yeah, this yeah, got us through some hard then. times. You would understand with your yeah. PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, what the fuck is this thing called? Fucking who cares? It sucks. Whatever, Dad. I'm going to go back to the VR verse. Good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Me. That's why. Either. That's why. If anything, I want. I want to switch. 
I'm going to do a career trajectory change, dude. That's usually this, like, that's like probably the best way, right? Everybody's, I guess, well, I guess now, Quentin Tarantino, he's kind of been in one field his whole, and Martin Scorsese, I don't know. I do feel a lot of, you could, you could pull a like Jordan Peele, you know, like, oh, I'm the comedy guy, but now I'm the, you know, I'm the drama guy. I feel like that's would be the good thing. Or that, that would be the natural. It's like a, you, if, if it was like, uh, if you did like cartoon shorts, the next evolution would obviously be like, oh, you guys are the, you, you do the series, right? Yeah. Or whatever. That's kind of like the natural progression. And then uh, that's the same thing too, though. Like, you know, Matt and Stone, Trey Parker, it's like they were the series guys and then they did some movies as well, but they're still like the series guys. So I don't know. I think it's just, you know, just make shit that you like. Just fucking see how the dice is roll. I don't know. If, you know, who fucking knows. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking know. I ain't got nothing either. I don't know. What do you people fucking want from us? Nothing. That's true. They want no. I they cream want crew fans. Yeah. yeah, sorry, cream they crew fans. They just want to. No, no, no. This is probably one of our best episodes. I imagine. <laughs> Ball to the wall. That's what that's what the episode's gonna be called. Ball to the wall, baby. Oh Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. Maybe this could be another twenty-minute episode. Just kind of <laughs> like the kind of greatest hits. That's one of my that's that's one of my favorites <laughs> to scroll through and see the, the thumbnail for that just says we tried. <laughs> <laughs> People were so fucking mad about that. I forgot. Why all about even put that. the episode out? Just don't. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah people were fucking because, mad because we fuck. tried. That's why. That's why we put it out. You know what, dude? All all we did was try. We really tried. S- fucking sue us, dude. I t- we try. You know what? We sit here. We got a lot of things going on. We like to just we do mostly do this because we just like to hang out and talk to each other. Oh, and my my uh, my camera just turned off because it said it's too hot. Weird. Well, for all of our beautiful, for all of our beautiful viewers. I no longer have a video, but my but my voice is still here. <laughs> hey, we, so we've got a Patreon. Have we done a single intact episode since we came back? Uh, we just did the greatest Anagun episode without. of all time. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, dude, no, no, no. This has to count, right? No, no, no. Yeah, no, like no, with, no, the, no. with saying, nothing fucking up. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying with no yeah, camera yeah. failures or audio, audio failures. Audio, yeah. Or, and, the, and, the, and here's the thing. Here's the thing, Don. The answer is no, mm-hmm. and because people, you, 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 th- all right, you're giving up our our ruse. We do this because because it's, it becomes a new guessing game for our viewers. That's what it is. That's nice. That's going to be the mess up this week. See, keeps you on your toes, and then it starts a conversation in the comments. It gets all those little wet blankets in the comment section to finally say something because nobody wants to be the first comment, right? I guess that's not true. People always type first all the time. Okay. It's a survivorship bias, though, you know? Only the people who want to be first type first. Yeah. That's for true. Ah, uh, bring it back another yeah. classic bit from this podcast. That might that might unironically go down as the worst meme. <laughs> the most hated. When people... You know what, now? If, if, if I could give permission on us and you guys can deny... You can confirm or deny this for our fans... If you ever hate an episode, just put balls to the wall <laughs> in the comments. Well, no, no, no. It's supposed to be ball to the wall. And I respect that. Ball to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah. Yeah. Like in yeah. a Don Keeper of Memes. That's right. Well, I was imagining the tattoo Keep, on the like inner the, thigh. It's like the fat guy from Game of Thrones. I appreciated that our balls would slap against the tattoo on the inner thigh if we did that. You know. That's what I thought. That's yeah, what that's, I thought. I thought that'd nice. be funny. I'd feel kind Thank of you. gay getting an inner thigh tattoo. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if my masculinity could handle it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I'd get a hot, big titted woman to do it. Oh, Nothing gay about that. That's you true. should touch my cock. I'm hard. My I, I'm wore, I wore basketball shorts for this reason. You see how hard my cock is for my basketball shorts. My end one basketball shorts. <laughs> Why can't dreams just come true? They don't really. What I what I wouldn't give to go and get a thigh tattoo and have a big titty goth chick just for some reason be out of control and lust for my very pale putrid face. I know that I'm supposed to do this tattoo, but can I suck your cock? Well, I I, don't, I, I wasn't really ex- expecting such a thing. Why, 
But yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was watching the news, and apparently a guy raped a gorilla and has two babies, and it's it's sentient and it's attacking New York City right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if the end of the world is occurring, why, why no? Why not throw all caution not. to the wind? Well, I don't see why not. Well, I think that would be rather enjoyable. Well, I might not. as well go ahead. He might as well dip my toe in the pool. Move so to speak. Uh, That's exactly uh, what I sound like. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thank you.